Okay. Let's give it a go. I'm moving in a couple months to go to college after living in the same house for 18 years. How can I make my new city feel like home? I've always wondered what it would be like to have lived in the same house your entire life growing up. Cause that's something I didn't have. And honestly, I'm kind of jealous of you because you did have like a set home. Like I never really had that. Like my home was like my current address, but I never really like had a place where I was like, yes, these are my people, you know? I'm not talking about my North Carolina friends. No, no, I'm just talking about like the, the, the general population, you know? Does that make any sense? I don't know what that had to do with the question. I, I guess I just wanted to mention it. <laughs> anyway, and this may just be like the, the, the little bit of like Southern charm I have in me. Um, try and really like meet your neighbors and get to know them, you know? This is gonna sound so cheesy, but, but the first thing that we always did was um, bake them cookies and then ring on their doorbell. I know it sounds kind of corny, but you know what? It worked, it worked. And also like really, really just kind of drive around, you know, with like no set location, just like turn off your GPS, just kind of drive around and go exploring. Honestly, that's the, the best thing. Cause you can look at Google maps all you want, but there's nothing that really replaces just kind of exploring, if that makes any sense. Also, how do you stop thinking about an impossible crush? You know. <laughs> I'm assuming this is a guy from like your hometown that you're moving away from so you know what just kind of you're going to meet other guys at college that's just gonna be a thing that happens and and remember that as, as much as your like mind is convincing yourself that oh he's the perfect guy for you he's not like your brain like we we, we do this naturally we always think like oh this person would be like the, the perfect person and we make this like character I guess of, of who they are instead of the, the broken, flawed, scrambled mess of a person that they really are, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I mean, like, I used to do this all the time, where I, like, have this, this mental, I, yeah, caricature, I think would be the best way to, to, to describe it, version of this girl, and I was always like, oh, she's the perfect one for me, you know, but, 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 when I, I like actually objectively examined, like no, it would not have worked out. I don't really know if that was, any of that was like really solid advice. I don't know, like 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 try and meet other guys, especially when you're going around exploring. Perfect, boom, next question. How does one know when they're developing a crush? Asking for a friend. Sure you are. I mean like, I don't know. How do you describe having a crush? Like you, you think about them constantly, you really, appreciate the aesthetic of their face. You, you, you would imagine what life would be like if you two got married and then like had children together and grew old together and died and your, your, your caskets would be next to each other or, or is that just me? I have a short lab and I want him to be one of those dogs that go to hospitals to make people happy. What are some cool tricks that I can teach him? P.S. He already knows how to catch food in his mouth. He taught himself. Okay, this um <clears throat> isn't the uh, normally the, uh, the, 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 the type of question that I get, but I'll try and answer it. I don't know. I mean, maybe like, yeah, I don't know, shake. Um, I don't know. There was uh, there was one time that my sister was in the hospital um, when she was really young and they brought in like, yeah, one of those those dogs and just like she did not want to eventually like the time came for the dog to leave but she was so happy petting it that she didn't want to leave so so good on you for doing that like it does bring a lot of joy to people who desperately need it okay so uh, apparently you need to like register your dog as a like professional therapy dog which is a whole process in and of itself and honestly i don't think that's what you're really asking i'm sorry i just wanted to, to mention that so you don't just like I don't know, bring your dog into a hospital at random and start going into <laughs> start going into random people's rooms. Oh my gosh. Back to the question. Um, the, the first thing that I can think, I don't really know if there's a good way to teach this, but I'd imagine it'd be very effective is if you can get the dog to like lay their head down on the stomach of the person in the hospital bed. Oh man, that would just, they would, that would be wonderful. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not a dog trainer. Like I don't, I don't know dogs tricks very well. I consider it a miracle that our dog d knows not to pee on the carpet. <laughs> yeah, these have been like really great and lighthearted so far, you know? Oh, never mind. My parents are divorced and are both remarried. This never really bothered me. They, they split up when I was really young, so I hardly remember them together. It wasn't like a bitter memory in any way, and from it I got two wonderful step-parents. 
The problem is that now my dad told me that him and my stepmom may be getting a divorce. I'm so scared because I know that if she moves out, even if it doesn't happen like all at once, she's gonna fade out for my life and I don't want that to happen. Holy crap, here we go. This is sort of a, uh, <laughs> an awkward, this is gonna be an awkward situation no matter what. But like, if you don't want her to fade out of your life, then make an effort to really like now, really like st strengthen your relationship with her, especially through like texting or like, you know, Facebook messaging, like that kind of like communication regardless of distance. Because you and your dad are separate people and have sep and can have like separate relationships with her, same as she can have same as like her relationship with one of our friends is different from her relationship with your father. That being said, things are going to be awkward regardless. Because no matter what, like when she thinks about you, you are connected to memories of her ex-husband, you know? So I'd say, yeah, really try and strengthen your like texting, I guess, relationship. I don't know, that was a weird... If you could like, maybe for like a few months after like the big split up occurs, like give her some space, give her some time, and then like start messaging her again saying like, hey, I really miss you and I know things are, you know, uncomfortable, but I do love you still and want to be a part of your life, regardless of the situation with my father. You know, be mature about it and, and really, level-headed, I guess. And if she loves you back, which I'm assuming she does because of how, like, it seems like your relationship is great right now, then she'll want to be in. And just, like, don't bring up your dad. Just, you don't want to make things awkward. That was a fun one. Can we get, like, a lighthearted question up in here? Who is the prettiest girl in the whole wide world? From your girlfriend. I can feel your eye roll from here. I I'm sorry, I really, like we, we both agreed, like we don't wanna be that couple, so we're gonna kinda shut up publicly, but <sighs> she, she, she messaged me saying, hey, you better answer this in the next PDA episode or else. And I'm scared to find out what that or else entails, so. There, are you happy, Susan? <laughs> Except for roasting each other on Twitter. That's still, that's gonna be a thing. Yeah, look at this. This is a, a quick, a good, I, I feel good about this PDA. Also, I just realized I didn't make a single metaphor this entire video, but I'm still kind of thirsty. So, down the freaking hatch. <gasps> Stay hydrated, kids. And also, if you need life advice or have just kind of general questions for me, email me at pundidly at gmail.com and hopefully I will answer them next week. Assuming this is still a thing. Because again, I'm not 100% sure if I really like the idea of bringing this back or if it's just gonna be like another thing that I already have to do in my already busy life. And in the meantime, stay positive. Also, I'd just like to point out the fact that this is the way that this shirt is supposed to look. Like, it doesn't have a whole lot of lint or anything on it. It's, it, it has white specks sewn in, okay? It's supposed to look like this. Okay, back to the end screen. <laughs>